crisscrossing the country and tracking down some of the coolest custom rigs out there. <laughs> After spending a couple of crazy days with Texas Chrome, I'm off to California to hook up with another pair of brothers, the Botellos. Jeff. Okay, I'm glad I'm here. All right, let's see. What are we exactly doing with the deck plate? It's uh, 26 and 3 quarters. So does that work? Yeah. Okay, I'm all done. All right, way too many rigs to see. Let's get going. First up, the Patello Brothers personal working rig. This is your working truck. Yeah. This is your baby right here. First, I already love it, just I'm walking up to it, because you've got painted hubs. That's old school owner operator stuff right there. Jeff's brother Jim is the master behind the graphics. We do a lot of trucks, and the reason why we do a lot of trucks is because we're into trucks. I grew up. You love trucks. I grew up with trucks. You grew yeah. up. That's right. Exactly. I mean, so I know what, I know the lingo. I know what they want. I know what they're looking for. With your pop. Yeah. Why do you call it 5150? Police code for crazy. That's what I'm talking about. How's this for a car hauler? Here's another one that we've done work on for it. a customer. Get real. <laughs> I'm gonna call this Club 18 Wheeler, hauling autos. Okay, that's super tight. That looks, almost that's, looks like yours. Yeah, that's actually just one of the work trucks. They're not show trucks, they're just... Uh, they're working trucks, okay, yeah, I mean, but, here you, but you still put that whole flavor of uh, kind of hot rod in them. Like I said, just something to give my guys some pride back in an industry that I love, that I feel has lost a lot of pride. And you guys are kicking it large with the pride, I can tell you that. Next up, it's an O2379. It's a limo. No, it's both. This, I don't know, I'm not even calling this a limousine. This is way, way cooler than a limousine. <laughs> you know what it looks like? It looks like some kind of a modern day armored car. It is stupid. Custom, custom, hell, it's all custom. We put wireless remotes on the door. Of doors. course, that's like standard operating procedure here. <laughs> oh, how do we get to the back? Oh, Lord. Now, if I would have gone to prom, this is how I would have gone. What kind of power do we have going through this pig? It's putting right at 2,000 horsepower to the flywheel, plus the truck's so long with... Oh, hold on a second. I think he just said it's putting 2,000 horsepower to the flywheel? Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, 2,000 horsepower. That is about the same power that a train puts out. Let's take a little stroll. Here we go, kids. Well, you get a whole different view of a Peterbilt from back here, I can tell you that. Yeah, it's a tough job, but somebody has to do it. Home, James, even though you're Jeff. Home, Jeff. I don't really have practice getting out of a limo, but I should have signed the insurance rider because I think it just rattled my kidneys loose in that thing. So now we'll take you out to the bone pile. Oh yeah, I like the bone pile. That sounds good. This is some wicked. It's a little pillaged. Check out the dash of class. Oh, the white wheel too, man. That is wicked. Look at the impact of this sucker here. Pow! Honestly, it's very unsettling back here. Obviously, there was a major fire. It melted the doors. My God, this is obscene. This is a reminder that trucking can be a dangerous and even deadly job. This is the part of trucking that isn't fun, but it's real. Inside the shop, they're restoring a rig that is going to get a second life. The rig's owner, Ken, is inside, and he was behind the wheel when this thing rolled. What happened? We're doing about 55, 56 miles an hour, kind of around an uphill left-hand grade. Uh -huh. And just then, I heard something pop in the front end, and the whole front end rotated. Oh, so yeah. something broke. Something broke. We were making that left-hand turn with a 14-foot tall load of hay on at highway speeds. And so it just took us right over. Want to hear something crazy? In 2009, 9 million truckers traveled, get this, 230 trillion miles. 
but they were only involved in less than 3% of all the crashes on the road. That's amazing. And now back to the boneyard. This one here actually makes me really, really sad when I look at it. This was my dad's personal truck. Oh, I gotcha. Jeff's father, Jim, passed suddenly in 2008, which was coincidentally the year that they started the build of Jeff's rig, 5150. My dad used to tell me all the time, hey, my truck's next. Don't take any more jobs. My truck's next. And there was always another job, another this, another that. We're always working on something else. Every time I look at it, I picture him telling me, hey, I want that thing want painted, that painted before I die. And now he's gone. When my father died, I was a mess. Yeah. I mean, I was too. My dad died. I was a mess. I feel you. I can empathize. Yeah. We. I'd come in this shop every day for three months and cry before I got in the truck and went to work. So Jeff's rig, which started out as a family project, turned into his own personal therapy session. And with his family by his side, he finished the rig just in time for the Nationals in Las Vegas. The award I always had always wanted was the Best of Show award, and we never we never seemed to be able to get Not our yet. hands on it. And uh, I finished my truck, and we took it to the Vegas show, and I got the Best of Show award with it. It didn't quite have the meaning that I thought it would have because my dad wasn't there. 